So, you love spinning! It's your favorite! And it should because it makes all your attacks three times as strong. But you just can't seem to get a hang of it in Blender. Not a problem. First thing you are gonna need to do is select the master root bone. Not the root bone of the body, the root bone of the entire rig. Then press I to key it, move to another point on the timeline, and with the record button active, click an axis on the gimbal and rotate it as many times as you want. You're done. If you press play to test it, you will now see your character spinning that many times in between these two frames. You can also do this by pressing R, X, Y, or Z and type the amount of degrees you want it to spin. Or you could just go here and type it. Whatever floats your boat. But here's the catch. You have to make sure that you are in Euler mode for this to work. When I was creating the rig, I had my rotation set to quaternion because it was easier to calculate the math formulas for the shape keys and bone correction drivers. And I left it that way ever since. But if you try to do the same rotation trick while it's set to quaternion, it never lets you go past 180 degrees. Rotation has to be set to Euler if you want to rotate multiple times. And you can't really change your mind after you start animating. This is what this animation is supposed to look like. You can see the base rotation controls the direction of the kick. Now watch what happens when I try to switch to Euler after doing all of my animations in quaternion. See that? I just lost all the rotation data for this bone. And it's not just this animation. All of the rotation data for this bone has been destroyed across every single one of my animations. That's right. All of them. Gone. So just be careful, because apparently it is possible to ruin all of your animations when you're trying to mess with one. Now there's actually one more problem that you should really know about, and it's that rotation kinda just stops working unless your character is perfectly flat. If we tilt it just a little and try and do the same thing, this is what will happen instead. Doesn't matter if you try and do it manually, the rotation will still be broken. So what do you do about it? Well, you really just have two options here. You have the brute force method, which is switching your rotation mode to quaternion and manually keying your rotation every 60 degrees. The other method is to design your rig around this problem. You could parent the root bone to another root bone, and that bone's sole purpose would be to spin. So every time you wanted to spin something horizontally, you would use this one, and every time you wanted to spin something vertically, you would use that one. That's honestly the best solution I think you're gonna get, unless Blender finally decides to make sure that this stuff should be working properly. But whatever. I'm looking forward to this being fixed. Anyway, hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.